Hi all, Dr. Brenda Sloven here from YourMigraineDoctor.com. Today, I want to talk with you about how to avoid a migraine when traveling. For a long time, every time I got off an airplane, I had a migraine or at the very least a massive throbbing headache that was, well, well on its way to becoming a migraine. It was terrible. I would be useless for the rest of the day and sometimes the next three and four days until I made one simple change the day of and the day before my flight. Since then, I don't suffer any airplane-induced migraines anymore. I can hop on a plane and I never have to worry that I'm going to lose three or four days out of my vacation. Um, learning to prevent a migraine while traveling became a huge priority for me. I really sincerely thought I was doomed. How can anyone escape the change in cabin pressure? I searched medical journals, I asked colleagues, I entertained both conventional and alternative treatment, and my solution was one of the most basic, water. I was drinking half my body weight in water daily, but apparently it wasn't enough. I needed more. So the day before and the day of my flight, I drank close to my body weight in ounces of water. That combined with eliminating a few foods out of my diet and addressing my stress levels, well, now I can finally say goodbye to those airplane headaches and migraines. And thank goodness that's the case because they were dreadful. So while water solved my issue, it may not solve yours. So I want to talk today more about sleep, nutrition, also climate. Aside from air, water is the most crucial element of survival. It's powerful and it's very destructive. Water makes up more than 60% of the body. It's vital for cell function. It lubricates your joint. It helps uh, with internal regulation of your temperature and it flushes out waste. We are constantly losing water through sweat, excretion, even exhalation. That's why we need to drink water throughout the day. So when I considered this, I decided to drink my full body weight in ounces on the day of my travel. You would do this the day before your travel if you had an early flight. I wasn't playing around. I needed a solution and this was the best place to start. And it worked. I was free. I was finally free. Do you sleep? Can you fall asleep easily and stay asleep for seven to eight hours at a time? If not, then sleep deprivation might be one of your biggest components related to travel migraines. Do your best to plan your sleep patterns ahead of time. If you're unable to determine a good sleep pattern due to the time difference, it may be worth considering avoiding that trip just for now. We all know that food and drinks are huge migraine triggers, but I want you to indulge in the local cuisine. But you have to be careful with your choices. Know your limits. Determine your food allergies before your trip. You can do this with a food elimination diet. And make sure that when you get on your trip, you avoid foods with unknown ingredients. Now, airplane cabin pressure can also cause a migraine to peek out its head right behind your eye. This is what got me. And any change in temperature or barometric pressure at your destination combined with the cabin airplane pressure, oh, that's a recipe for disaster. So if possible, at your destination, take the first day or two, try to spend it inside consider getting migraine glasses. Consider a barometric pressure app on your phone that allows you to plan activities. My travel comfort changed when I started with the basics. I hydrated before my flight. I kept drinking water during my flight. My relief was palpable when I landed and there was no sign of a headache or a migraine. I felt like my whole world changed and new opportunities were now possible. I want you to have that too. I'm Dr. Brenda Sloven from YourMigraineDoctor.com. If you found the information in this video helpful, please click the like button. You might be helping somebody more than you know, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.